Hi, Danielle. <laughs> Welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Fan. Hello, Danielle. How are you? Hi, I am so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, we're excited to talk to you, Danielle. Where are you calling us from? I'm calling you from Land of the Amish, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Ah, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Wow. I mean, is that a fake background behind you because it looks almost too good or is it one of those fake <laughs> screens that you put up yeah it's just ai no i'm just kidding no this is for you i just cut some flowers because oh. i thought you might enjoy them. i swear to god it looks so amazing it, it looks it's incredible I, I have complimented people on their homes and backgrounds and every time they laugh at me and say no it's just a a zoom slide that you can <laughs> that you can put up a fake background but that's real it looks perfect yeah, it's real. I wish I could ship it to you because I'm such a big fan. You know, I've been watching you every single night for 20 years. No, you haven't. Really? Yes, sir. Religiously. Well, I was, I was on for 28 years. So what was okay. wrong with the first eight? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, I couldn't yeah. steal a television fast enough because when I was younger, I had to steal a television to watch you. Did you really steal a television? Oh. Yes, I did. What, what do you mean? What, you, were, you wanted so badly to watch my show, you stole a television? I love you. I love you, Danielle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I won't mind. I feel a little bit nervous, but yes, I loved you so much, and I was desperate to watch you, and my parents were really, really strict. And so we didn't have cable. We had one television, no televisions in our bedrooms, but my grandfather had given us this travel television, and my dad, like, stuck it in the basement. So one day I decided to steal it, and I put it in my bedroom, and then at night I would record the show. I would put headphones on so they couldn't hear it, and I would put a sheet over myself and over the television. Oh, my so God. So the my light God. of the TV. I love this. Yeah. For Conan? <laughs> yes, for Conan. And yes, for Conan. Now, so I want to ask you something, Danielle. <laughs> did your parents, they were opposed, be honest, to you watching any television or specifically me? I think it was any kind of popular television, so I would just... So why do they have a problem with me? <laughs> <laughs> I love when you do our work for us. I know. Champagne corks. Kapang, kapang. Um, kapang? Yeah. Kapang. So it's not pop? It's not good champagne. It's really flat champagne. Kapang! <laughs> You're also living in an oil drum. Yeah. <laughs> so, Danielle, that's that means a lot to me. Seriously, I, I uh, that that's important to me. I, I like when people... Uh, idolize me. No, I like, <laughs> I, like when, I like when people yes. enjoyed the work. I really do. It means yes. something to me. I will so. bring out the bronze statue of you. Next Very time nice. You have me back. Um, well, uh, thank you so much. And tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, I grew up as an actor in the theater. Oh. And then, you know how life goes. You get married, you get pregnant. I moved on to do some film and television, some for NBC. I was on the worst television show that NBC ever produced. Which was? Uh, do No Harm. Do No Harm? I, I know, know that one. No, what's that? You might not have heard of it since it was the worst one. That NBC it, had a show called Do No Harm. What was it? Yeah, it got, it got canceled after two episodes. <gasps> Wow. And that was like the fastest cancellation So it did some ever. harm. Yeah, <laughs> did a lot of harm. harm. <laughs> Can't believe we've been doing this podcast for five years. Lots changed what? in the what? world. I don't know. We have flying cars now. Do we? Time transport. Oh. Well, lots changed. But you know what? There's also things that haven't changed. Hmm. You know what I'm talking about? No. Great taste of Miller Lite. Yeah. It hasn't changed. It was the original light beer. And to this day... For my money, it's still the best one. It's good. I'll fight anyone that disagrees. Will you? Well, not with my, f I'll have someone fight for me. <laughs> Merle Light has more of the taste you want, less of the stuff you don't. Yeah. Yep, undebatable quality, great taste, only 96 calories. That's good. It's the beer that strips away everything you don't need, holds on to what matters most, a light beer that tastes, hello, like beer. Yeah, not like water that's just kind of beery. Yeah, exactly. I don't like that. Yeah. That's a bad name for a beer, too. Water that's mostly beery. <laughs> the original light beer since 1975. That's right. Times change, but you can always enjoy the great taste of Miller Lite. Tastes like Miller time. I came up with that. Mm -hmm. Get Miller Lite delivered right to your door. Visit MillerLite.com slash Conan. Or you can find it pretty much anywhere that sells beer. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories per 12 ounces. Anyway, I did that for a while, but you know how it goes, not enough money. So we ended up moving, and the property that we moved to was owned by an Amish man who was farming here. So I thought, well, 
this TV thing's not working. Let me try selling cut flowers. And that just kind of took off. Wait, are those your cut flowers behind you? Yes. They are, yeah. they are, they are, as I, they are distractingly beautiful. They're amazing. They're really good. And the vases. Yeah. Oh, they're called vases. Um, oh. they're, so, called, they're called vases. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the worst people. <laughs> so those are really nice. So you are a professional a flower. You grow them and then you cut them and arrange them. Is that correct? Yes, I grow them. I cut them, arrange them, sell them. And now I work for different companies to do their photography, videography, and just write about the plants in general, how-to articles, um, disease and pest management, stuff like that. So uh, you live in, you said, you started off by saying you're in the heart of Amish country, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So you yeah. you are not Amish yourself, but you work with Amish, uh, the Amish, is that correct? Or you must sell, sell to them, you yes. must see them around, they're probably everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah, our old landlord was Amish, the man who owned this property was a shunned Amish man. Shunned? And yeah, he had been shunned. So Why? What did he What did he do here. that got him shunned? Do you know? Well, after that, he went to jail. So oh. I don't know if it was like a similar offense or not. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. So he, like, he did something that first got him shunned by the community, yeah. the Amish community, mm -hmm. and then the police said, uh, "This is more than just shunnable. Shunworthy. Shunworthy. <laughs> he needs." To uh, he needs to go to prison. Is that what happened? Yeah, apparently he went to prison. He was like I think a seventy years old, and he was stalking like a nineteen year old. Uh -oh. Oh, my God. oh, that's not good. So, but he didn't really believe in the restraining order or anything. So he just kept going back to her. <laughs> didn't over believe. Well, well, yeah, I don't believe in your Western ways with your <laughs> restraining order. Do you think there's yeah. an Amish gang in prison? Oh, oh, like the Amish Brotherhood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an, actually a fantastic idea for a TV show, better even than Do No Harm. <laughs> Sona, I'm setting us up a pitch meeting at NBC, because God knows I'm welcome there. Um, <laughs> Those do not harm. Yeah. Uh, the Amish Brotherhood. The Amish Brotherhood. Hey, brother, do you want to join the Amish Brotherhood? I don't know. I've been... The Latino gang has asked me. There's, of course... <laughs> We've learned how to jerry rig and do a jailhouse barn building. Yeah. We make the best toilet wine. Um, can you imagine having to tell the neo Nazis and uh, the really tough Latin gangs and stuff? No, 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 guys. I'm, I've, already, I've made my decision. It's the Amish gang. Yeah. yeah. I'm going with Ezekiel, Lazarus, and Zebediah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy enough to work. <laughs> so, uh, oh my God. that would be the gang to be in because they could build a catapult that would get you out of the yeah. jail. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. good at building stuff. Their yeah. shanks would be great. Yeah, their right. shanks would be very good. Yeah. They'd be right. made of beautiful wood. Um, Danielle, I feel like we left you out of the conversation, and that's just rude. <laughs> and you're here, and maybe because the three of us are just acting like idiots about the Amish, and we shouldn't. We should know about the real Amish people. You're there. Tell us about them. What's it like? What are some of the misconceptions? <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about the Amish. You know, my Amish landlord he used a cell phone, and of course, what? when they go on rough did he, prayer, did he yeah, carve he, it? Did he did he make it out of wood? <laughs> oh boy, you've he would ask what to you use my said. cell phone. <laughs> what? What? I didn't know they could use cell phones. That just seems wrong. <laughs> yeah. So what is the? I thought they were supposed to like kind of eschew modern technology. Is that or right? avoid it. Yeah, I was looking for a better word because I didn't want to sound like a eschew. fucking prick. And it's all that could come to my head. <laughs> no, no, but... <laughs> You're so right. But Danielle, so right. but Danielle, it is common. The common uh, conception is that the Amish <laughs> eschew... I knew how it sounded when I said it. Oh, Various... Oh, I hate myself. No, don't. You can't hate yourself more than we hate you. I know. I try and I try. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Danielle, Danielle, they can use cell phones. I mean, I see them using cell phones all the time. I do business with them and we talk on the phone. Some of them use the internet now because they'll say, Whoa. okay, what values do you want this year? And they'll go on the website that the business that I work for and they'll tell me. Oh. But a lot of Amish kids on Rumspringer, they love Mountain Dew. They love to smoke cigarettes. They love, so Mount it's really they love Mountain Dew. You know what's fascinating? Yeah. You, know, you know, of all my friends, you know, who's obsessed with Mountain Dew and drinks it all the time? Huh. Jack McBrayer. 
Oh, oh that's right. Jack McBrayer yeah. loves Mountain Dew, and he's obsessed with Mountain Dew. And I think he likes Diet Mountain Dew, which is hard to get. Uh. Um, and uh, I, know, I know a guy. Yeah, and he knows a guy that knows a guy. But it's so funny because of everyone I know. I mean, the cliche about Jack McBrayer would be that, you know, he's the country rube, yeah. okay? He's more or less played that part over and over and over again um, in his real life and uh, in TV and film. But uh, the idea that he loves Mountain Dew and that it's the drink of the Amish as well is fascinating to me. <laughs> yes, the Amish on Rum Springer. They'll be drinking Mountain Dew, smoking cigarettes, and they do like rap music. So we live on a main road where I saw cut flowers and they'll just drive by really, really slowly in their buggy with the rap music. <laughs> oh so you can hear wait, like, an entire wait. rap music play as they Amish, drive by your house. Amish teenagers <laughs> go by whacked out on, on, on Mountain Dew <laughs> and they're listening to, they're blasting rap from their buggies, their horse-drawn yeah, buggies. Like, you know, like old school, like Eminem, like Slim Shady. Do they put so, hydraulics in their buggies so that they can do the kind of low, <laughs> lowering? Yeah, the I low wish ride. they did. <laughs> I'm curious too, is the horse kind of keeping the beat? Is oh, the, You know what I mean? There's a yeah. horse there. Does yeah. the horse, does the horse, is the horse got a little swagger? Or, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is the horse on Rum Springer as well? <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying yeah, is, is the drinking mountain section. Dew. I'm just curious. <laughs> the horse is a living, sentient creature, and it's listening to this rap, and after a while, maybe the horse is like, I get it. You know, well, I like it. They do horse yeah. dance. What's that? You mean dressage? Yeah. Do not eschew dressage. Yeah. <laughs> do not <laughs> eschew dressage. Yeah, maybe somebody's doing rap music for dressage. Uh, wow, this is amazing. This is opening up a whole new <laughs> so world stupid. of... I'm getting this whole new view of the Amish. They're on the internet. They're answering their cell phones. They're listening yeah. to loud rap in their buggies as they go by. Yes. The horses are uh, mm -hmm. are swaggering to the beat. I like it. I like this whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm just fascinating. I don't know anything about that world, and maybe it's time I did know. What about the beards? Do they all have beards? Uh, you have a beard when you get married. So instead of wearing a wedding ring, you grow your beard. Really? Oh, that you're oh that's interesting. What, what's the deal? Do they they often have like neck beards but no mustache? Is that just a yeah? Trend? And none of them have the mustache. So I'm not sure why that. I is. think it gets burned off by whatever's in the Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew is very acidic. And so yeah. if you're a big Mountain Dew drinker, you'll burn off your mustache. Yeah. It's an old, old thing that's not true. Um, <laughs> I did that for the lawyers.